What is Shimano Q's and why should you care? Well, with perhaps the worst PR campaign in history, Shimano launched Q's a few days ago in what was potentially its most significant launch of 2023. However, with only limited details, many of our readers and indeed tech staff are left wondering what the new 9, 10 and 11 speed disc brake only drivetrain ecosystem means. Here's everything that we know so far. So what is Q's? Well, it's everything below Mechanical 105. All the current stuff will be slowly phased out on flat bar bikes, and it's highly likely that these changes will be coming to drop bar bikes in the near future too. This is Shimano's brand new approach to its mid-tier components, unifying the 9, 10 and 11 speed lifestyle lineup. At the moment, Q's is only available for flat bar bikes, redesigning the existing Claris, Sora and Tiagra group sets and Mechanical 105 into a range of interchangeable components, including derailleurs, cassettes, and chains. The change also applies to Altus, Acera, Alivio, and Dior mountain bike drivetrains, which could make sourcing and fitting spare parts for bike shops and riders much less of a headache. Totally revamping how we've come to know the Shimano drivetrain hierarchy, Shimano says that Coos will offer smoother shifting, more durable components, and standardizes compatibility across a wide range of categories. The wide cross compatibility of Q's components should mean that repairs and upgrades are easier on Q's compatible bikes going forwards, as shops won't be limited to the number of gears on the bike when it comes to replacing or updating components. As we understand it though, Q's compatible will not be backwards compatible with outgoing Tiagra, Sora and so on, because the pull ratios are different to the older group sets, so well that's a shame. Maybe stock up on some spare parts now. Coos, which stands for Creating Unique Experiences, I know, right, how cringy is that? It is not a totally new concept from Shimano, as we've already seen it launched on the e-bike-specific electronic group sets last year. Now, the Coos family is consolidating the mechanical mid-tier group sets, meaning that whereas you previously had a rather clear hierarchy and limited cross-compatibility between Sora and Claris group set, for example, the Coos system should make the mixing and matching of components across speeds much less of a faff. Coos only includes hydraulic disc brake options, and the chain sets are limited to either 1x or 2x setups. Obviously, that means there will be no triple chain sets with a granny ring or rim brakes anymore, is this finally the death of the triple? Those who are currently running existing 9, 10 or 11 speed drivetrains on their flat bar bike don't need to panic, yet. As Shimano has said that the current drivetrain options will stay in the brand's offering for at least the next seven years as they are slowly being phased out. Coos will incorporate and discontinue Claris, Shimano's current entry level eight speed group set for road, fitness and touring. But the timeline of all the changes being rolled out isn't all too clear. This slightly vague launch of Qs can be seen as the introduction of the concept rather than a definite announcement of group sets being discontinued. Qs consists of three levels of components across all riding disciplines, U4000, U6000 and U8000. The U4000 range is 9 speed, U6000 is available in both 10 and 11 speed, and the U8000 comes with 11 speed components. All of these are cross compatible to a certain extent. You'll find all of the Coos group sets designed to use an 11 speed chain, meaning all of the cassettes have the same spacing between the sprockets and can be run with any existing 11 speed chain, including the e bike specific E8000 chain that was part of the e bike launch last year. The cassettes all feature Shimano's Link Glide technology something the brand initially introduced as an alternative to its more premium Hyperglide tech. Whereas Hyperglide is all about lightweight and performance, Link Glide is about durability, and in the case of Q's, compatibility and an accessible price point, so we're told. The Link Glide cassettes have a specifically designed taller and thicker tooth shape that provides additional surface area and mitigates the chain from skipping, especially under heavy loads like we might see on e-bikes. Shimano says that the design distributes pedaling forces more evenly to prevent premature wear due to shifts from less experienced cyclists. The Coos Link Glide cassettes fit on a standard HG free hub body, and the two smallest sprockets, that's the 11 and 13 tooth ones, are the exact same across the entire range, so they can be replaced separately from the rest of the cassette. A nice touch. Shimano says that the lifespan of the Link Glide cassettes is three times longer than that of the alternatives, making them the most durable in the brand's offerings. 
This obviously makes the Link Glide range more budget friendly as you don't have to change the components so often. All of the Coos shifters and derailleurs use the same specific Link Glide pull ratio, meaning that yes, the shifters can be used across different speed group sets. The Coos drive trains feature 13 tooth jockey wheels across the range, again making the system more cross compatible across the 9, 10 and 11 speed Coos components. This should make sourcing and fitting spare parts much easier, again because all the pull ratios and cog spacings are the same. The Coos components are not widely available in the UK quite yet, but it's likely that most of the mid-range bikes that you're going to see enter the markets later in 2023 will be equipped with this new Shimano Coos group set instead of the outgoing 9, 10 or 11 speed models. This is the first launch of Coos outside the electronic group sets that were announced last year. And a source tells RoadCC that Shimano have all but confirmed that Coos componentry for drop bar bikes is coming, but not until much later. Make of that what you will. We're taking this to mean that the Q's treatment with the phasing out of Tiagra, Sora and Claris could be coming to road bikes too. Although we're not 100% sure if the phasing in and out times are the same as the initial announcement for flat bar, fitness, city and mountain bikes. At this time, we don't have any pricing information at all for the Q system or any of the components in the new lineup. So we're unable to judge if it indeed will provide the accessible price points that we've been promised. You can check out Shimano's website for more details on Coos and we'll keep you updated as and when we get more information. Whilst no one has yet ridden a Coos group set, our experiences on Link Glide in even the toughest of conditions has been faultless. So we have every reason to believe that these new group sets will be performance winners. Likewise, the longevity, cost effectiveness and standardization as well as repairability all add up to be a great consumer and trade bonus. Mike Stead, our resident reviewer and small bike service business owner, can't wait to see Coos become widespread across his customer's fleet. The flexibility, options and performance versus value points that Coos will now offer to bike brands, shops and consumers is a genuine step change. SRAM and other brands will have a real challenge reacting anytime soon with products to match, but is this the death of the rim brake? I guess we could always see Shimano bring back more non-series parts. Do you think that Shimano's move to Coos is a good move? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you want to see more content like this, including our first ride review of the new SRAM Force AXS group set, then please give us a like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.